Hi everyone, this is Cam speaking and I'm running Tech Journal, which is covering global tech startup and sustainability stories. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Tesla's move in becoming a, becoming a char charging standard in uh, electric cars uh, in the US. Uh, before starting the video, I will have a request from you. I'll be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, now let's get back to the video. And uh, in my one of my pre previous videos, I had mentioned Ford and GM's electric vehicles will be using Tesla's chargers in the US. And uh, very recently, Rivian, Volvo and Mercedes joined the band as well. So uh, those moves raise this question. Is Tesla's charger to become a universal charger standard? Is the company setting the standards in chargers? Uh, the story in short, yes, it seems Tesla is setting the charger standards. Uh, but how? Uh, and there are some, uh, there are two types of uh, chargers uh, in the US. The first one is called a combined charging system, uh, namely CCS. And the second one is called uh, North American charging standard, uh, namely NACS. And this is uh, Tesla's standard. And here is why Ford, uh, GM, Rivian, Volvo and Mercedes are switching to NACS. Uh, several uh, studies have revealed that CCS charging networks are less reliable than Tesla's, according to a story at CNBC.com. And uh, in addition, uh, the CCS uh, fast charging plugs are larger and heavier than Tesla's. NACS, uh, NACS, uh, plugs and this makes it, it, it impractical for older and disabled uh, drivers to use. And let me add that uh, Tesla shared the design of NACS and made it open source so other automakers uh, can adapt their uh, charges. And starting 2024 uh, drivers of those five brands will be uh, able to access 12,000 Tesla superchargers via an adapter. Each brand will uh, display available uh, uh, available tester chargers in their mobile apps and via in-vehicle navigation systems. As a side note, uh, BMW is also in touch with Tesla, and it is said BMW is BMW. Some EV models can use uh, those uh, chargers soon. And uh, and. Uh, I also need to touch upon economic side of this move. Uh, I have a figure uh, about uh, General Motors and GM uh, CEO Mary Barra told CNBC uh, that they expect to save up to $400 million. Normally GM announced it was planning to uh, invest $750 million to build its own EV charging infrastructure. And let me uh, add that the Tesla has roughly 65,000 superchargers, uh, supercharger connectors worldwide, and 4,947 supercharger stations. And Tesla superchargers account for about 60% of the total fast chargers in the US and Canada, according to US Department of Energy and D Data. And maybe you're also curious uh, and want to know uh, what Tesla will uh, gain from those deals. There are there's a recent analysis from investment bank Piper Sandler, and it found out that uh, Tesla can make five billion dollars in revenue annually in ten years. Uh, this is all from Tech Journal. I hope this video has been informative to you. If yes, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and post your comments below. Also, turn your notifications to hear about the latest videos. Thank you for your time, and see you soon with the video, with new videos. And bye for now.